How is it? We are learning stop motion today. Uh, can't wait to see your ideas. Don't uh, want to be nosy, but you guys usually have creative works. Uh, speaking of being nosy, what do you get uh, when a nosy pepper, what does a nosy pepper do? Uh, he gets jalapeno business. Speaking of business, let's get down to it. So we're going to hit Command N in iMovie to create a new uh, iMovie. We're going to hit no theme. We're going to call this uh, CA or CA thing and call this stop motion. And after you create your stop motion uh, video, you're going to be seeing your library here on the left. Uh, this is your timeline down here. And all we're going to do is drag in our pictures. So go to your images. You should have over 100 images or so. Um, and you're going to hit Command-A. And you may want to drag in first just your title uh, ones, and then your main ones, and then finally your uh, pictures of yourself being crazy for the credits. Uh, but you, what you can do is just drag it in here. Um, another way to do it is hit import and then you can import and select the folder of where the pictures are and so on. Um, so those are your two options for inserting the pictures. Now once you have the pictures uh, inserted you're going to click on one and hit command A so it selects all of them and after you select all the pictures we're going to be editing them because right now if you play it it, it, it gives us ken burns effect like it, the pictures will like move back and forth and we don't want them to do that um so instead you're going to hit um highlight all of them and if you hit the shortcut three um this little toolbar will come up the number three and you guys talk too loud you know i'm recording right your voices are going to be in the video tutorial and they're going to be like, who is that in the back? I'm like, oh, that was loud Hasumi. All right, so you're going to choose crop to fill and then it's going to crop all of them in about this. So you can decide where it crops it, but generally in the middle is fine. Um, so then you're going to hit the check mark button and it's going to uh, crop all of them in that dimension. Uh, next, what you're going to do is the amount of seconds. Notice when I play it, it's a little bit too long. So what we're going to do is, let's see, that's taking forever. Uh, we're going to hit I on the inspection, and then we're going to go to duration. And four seconds is way, way too long. So we're going to hit point 0.1. And then we're going to just click off of it, and it should automatically do it. So now still four and the reason why is I hit it, didn't hit command A for all of them and again I'm gonna hit 0 0.1 and hit enter hit enter now if I play it it's, a, it's very much faster um, if it's too fast for you um, you can go to point zero point two and experiment to how long you want um, also if you feel like um, like here he's taking too long to rip it I think so I could go in here and delete certain frames. So I could get in here and delete that one. Um, and then let me delete that one. So you can go through and so things don't take so long to happen if he's walking or whatnot. Um, so that's basically how you do it. So again, at the beginning, you're going to do your title um, images. And with your title, you're going to hit a transition and put one of these transitions, maybe a cross dissolve is the most popular, cross blur looks cool. Put that right in there. Just click and drag that right in, in between there. You're going to want to do this also to the end of this video in between uh, the action and your selfie pictures uh, for that. Um, for your music, you're just going to go to your desktop or wherever your mp3 file is and just drag it right into this bottom and you'll want to, um, you can either fade it in or fade it out. Uh, just make sure it's appropriate mu music uh, to match that. You can also use the GarageBand music uh, in here um, with either iTunes or sound effects. Uh, you may want to sort it by time uh, because uh, of the length and you can just uh, select it and lay it in. Um, but when you're done with that, you're going to hit uh, share and choose file. And then you're going to save that onto your desktop uh, so that you can upload it to what you need to do. Um, at the theater, that's fine. Um, maximum and you're good to go. 
So that's how you do stop motion. How's it? Hasumi says, how's it? Great.